The most obvious question to begin is, we want to say your last name properly. Okay. Because the 49ers didn't list it under the pronunciation, so give it to us. <laughs> Brunskill. Brunskill. Yeah. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, and <laughs> that's who you are as a player, pretty straightforward. Yeah. That's what you've done throughout your career. I, so I got to see if I got this right. So you come out of high school in San Diego. You decide to walk on at San Diego State, and who recruits you really there? Who convinces you to come walk on? Uh, Brian Sipe was the guy. The Browns yeah. quarterback from years yeah, gone by. Okay, so you go to San Diego State, and you were an offensive lineman in high school, mm -hmm. and you redshirt, and then you end up a tight end. Yes, sir. How does that happen? I didn't weigh a lot, and so uh, they wanted me on the field, and they wanted to find a way to get me on the field, so tight end was the best way to do that. And then, uh, then did I end up running, running routes and stuff. And they like, this guy can actually play tight end. So then, you know, I had, had pretty decent hands. And so they, they liked that. And then ended up playing tight end for, uh, three years. And it wasn't until my senior year where they, uh, we had a guy go down and they needed a, they needed a right tackle. And they, they said for me to play that, even if I was 250, they said, uh, it gain as much weight as you can, but at the end of the day, we think you can play that spot better than what we have left. So then they, uh, what did, yeah. what did you weigh that year? That was 2016, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. So, okay. um, my senior year was 2016. I weighed about 255, maybe 260 in the off season. And then I put on like 10 pounds, maybe ended up weighing like 270. Now yeah. as, as a professional offensive lineman today, mm -hmm. when you think about that, <laughs> that's crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. No, it's wild, but I mean, I've always kind of been the lighter guy and been able to play at that, and so uh, um, I don't have too much of a problem with that. And you played a lot of other sports in high school too, volleyball? Yes, sir. What else did you do? Played uh, volleyball, lacrosse, I wrestled for a little bit, so. So you're yeah. a pretty good overall athlete. Uh, I like to think You'd so. like to think yeah. so. <laughs> and then, so two years with the Falcons on the practice squad. So you basically got two NFL red shirt seasons. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the AAF, and that was a turning point for you. Yeah, so I knew in Atlanta I felt like I could play. A lot of guys they brought in, they still had me taking, like, a majority of the reps to, to relieve the, the starters and stuff like that. And I just felt like I never really got an opportunity um, to move up, and I saw, like, other guys moving up around me. So when they, uh, they offered me a Futures my second year, I decided not to take it because I, I wanted a chance to maybe prove myself, be able to show, like, I can actually play in the NFL. Um, and so then uh, nobody really came around at that point. So then I was a little worried, but the, I knew the AAF was starting up and those teams wanted me a, a lot. And so then to be able to go play in San Diego again, I was like, I took the, took the opportunity to do that. I figured it best, it can give me like some good film, all that, and ended up working out. Gave me a chance to play with the Niners and got there, made the team right away and stories history. Yeah. And you, you've played in 64 games, you've made 45 starts. Let me see if I got this right. So you have 31 starts at right guard. You have eight starts at center. You have four starts at right tackle. And then you have one start at left guard and left tackle. Sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. So you've started every position. Yes, sir. So you're just a guy who wants a job. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> do you have a preference? Do you, do you really I care? I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, like the right side feels more comfortable because like you said, I've played a lot more starts over there. But anywhere that's on the field, because once you get going on the left, left side I used to think early on that you know it was always like super hard because you don't feel comfortable but then all of a sudden you start playing and you just get used to it and you're like you know this ain't too bad so left side is not that much of a problem either <laughs> you are truly a professional offensive lineman aren't you uh, I mean that's yeah, the, pretty much <laughs> that's the I mean you're, you're nearly 29 and you've you know you've got a an opportunity now to become a full-time starter for, for the Tennessee Titans it's got to be an exciting proposition to go through this process now after all that you've been through to get here yeah no i'm excited to uh to start again and, and be able to prove to the you know the nfl that i'm a full-time starter all the time um i got to do two full years of starting in the niners and and then uh you know i'm just excited to be able to show everybody that i can and, and i mean i can go play out there and at the end of the day playing football is what i want to do